welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about how to find the determinants of 3x3 three three matrices. If this is your first time here, and if you want to upgrade your math skill and boost your grade, make sure you subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button below so that you won't miss any videos in future. As in my next video, I am going to talk about the properties of the determinants. If you find that this video is useful, please share to your friends or to your students. So, let's start the lesson right now. In this video, I am going to talk about the determinant of 3x3 three three matrices. Before we start, let's recall back how to find the determinant of 2x2 two two matrix. Now, when we look at this question, if matrix A is given as a 2x2 two two matrix here, now find the determinant of the matrix A. So, since matrix A is a 2x2 two two matrix, so, therefore, the determinant is equal to AD minus BC. So, in this case, 3 times 1 minus 5 times 2. It is equal to negative 7. Now, we look at the determinant. The determinant can be denoted by using two straight lines here. It is different from the matrix. Matrix, we use the round brackets to represent that. This is a matrix. For the determinant, we use the two straight line here to represent the determinant. And we have another method that is we use two straight line and A is inside. So this is another method to represent the determinant. And also we can use DET. DET stands for the determinant. So, DET, the determinant A, is equal to 3 times 1 minus 5 times 2 is negative 7. Now, if the matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix, then to find the determinant of this matrix, then I can use this method where I take the first number from the first row multiply with a 2 by 2 determinant where the elements in this 2 by 2 determinants are the elements that are not the same row and same column as A. They are E, F, H and I. Then minus the second number B, multiply with another 2 by 2 determinants with the elements are not the same row as B and not the same column as B. They are D, F, G and I. Followed by plus the third number C multiply with a 2 by 2 determinant where the elements are not the same row as C and not the same column as C. They are D, E, G and I. H. Now let's look at this example. If A is given as a 3 by 3 matrix here, then find the determinant of the matrix A. Now by using the method, first I take the first number from the first row that is 3, multiply with the number that are not the same row as 3 and not the same column as 3, they are 3, 4, 5 and 3. Then minus the second number 1 and multiply with another 2 by 2 determinant with the number that are not the same row as 1 and not the same column as 1. They are negative 2, 4, 2 and 3. Then plus the third number negative 2, multiply with the 2 by 2 determinant that are the number from the 
not the same row as negative 2 and not the same column as negative 2. They are negative 2, 3, 2, 5. Then after that, I'm going to find the value of each of these 2 by 2 determinant by using AD minus BC. So first one, 3 times 3 multiplies 4 times 5. Then the second one, negative 2 times 3 minus 4 times 2. And the third one, negative 2 times 5 minus 3 times 2. So when I press the calculator, then I'll get the answer for the determinant of A, that is 13. When finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, actually there are more than one alternative where we can use any row or any column to calculate the determinant provided that we must follow the rule here. For example, the first example just now, I used the first row. When I take the first number, that is plus 3. Then when it comes to the second number, I must put minus 1. Then come to the third number, I use plus negative 2. Let's say if the same question I want to find the determinant of A, I can use column 2 to find the determinant. So based on this rule, column 2, the first number is negative, so I must put negative 1, multiply with a 2 by 2 determinant with the number that is not the same row and the same column as 1, they are negative 2, 4, 2, and 3. Then followed by the second number, so according to here, I must put plus, then the second number 3, plus 3, multiply with a 2 by 2 determinant, where the numbers are not the same row and same column with 3. So there are 3, negative 2, 2 and 3. Then followed by the third number minus here, so I have to put minus the third number 5, so minus 5, multiply with the 2 by 2 determinant where the numbers are not the same row as 5 and not the same column as 5. They are 3, negative 2, negative 2 and 4. Then after that, I am going to calculate all the 2 by 2 determinant by using AD minus BC. Then when I press the calculator, then I find that the answer is the same. Now let's test one more alternative. Let's say now I use row 3 to calculate the determinant. So according to the row here, now for row 3, the first number is plus. So the first number 2, so I use plus 2. Then multiply with 2 by 2 determinant that is not the same row and same column with 2. There are 1, negative 2, 3 and 4. Then the second number minus 5 multiply with 2 by 2 determinant with the number not the same row and same column with 5. They are 3, negative 2, negative 2 and 4. Then the third number plus 3 multiply with 2 by 2 determinant with the number not the same as 3 not the same column as 3. There are 3, 1, negative 2 and 3. Then I calculate the value of the determinant 
by using AD minus BC. Then when I press calculator, then I find that the answer is the same. Now we have learned how to find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. But why we need to calculate the determinant? Because if the determinant is equal to 0, so this means that the matrix is a singular matrix. If the matrix is a singular matrix, then this means that the inverse matrix does not exist. But if the determinant is not equal to 0, so this means that the matrix is a non-singular matrix. A non-singular matrix means the inverse matrix exists. So now let's took a, take a look at this question. M is the matrix 3 by three, 3 with the unknown A. Now find the value of A for which M is a singular matrix. And we know that if a matrix is a singular matrix, means the determinant is equal to 0. So, now we are going to calculate the determinant. Now here, I use the first row. Then the first row, the first number is 3. Multiply with the determinant, 2 by 2 determinant. Not from first row, not from first column. That is 2A, 1, 2 and A. Then minus the second number, that is 1, multiply with 2 by 2 determin determinant, that is not from first row, not from second column, that is 1, 1, 0 and A, then plus the third number, negative 3, then multiply with 2 by 2 determinant, that is not from first row, not from third column, that is 1, 2a, 0, and 2. And the value is equal to 0 because m is a singular matrix. So now I'm going to find the value of this determinant by using ad minus bc. So when I try to multiply ad minus bc, then I get here. Then now I expand the number, I do further, simplify, then I get that this one is a quadratic, so means I need to do the factorization. Then from here, I can find the value of A is 3 over 2, and another value of A is negative 4 over 3. So, that's all for today. Do you understand what you learned today? Let me know in the comments below. If you find that this video is useful, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you keep on learning and keep on watching my videos. And I hope to see you soon. Bye!